We're going to continue with our notes from 7.5 on volume, and we're going to look at actually finding the volume of these three different shapes now. So our first one is a sphere, and we're going to look back at the formula for that. So we're looking at the volume is 4 thirds times pi, which we said we're going to use 3.14. times the radius to the third power. So I'm just going to bring that down to our problem here and let's copy down our formula. So volume equals 4 thirds pi radius to the third. And I'm going to start plugging everything in. So 4 thirds is going to stay 4 thirds. Pi is 3.14. Remember it's not exactly but that's what we're going to use times, now it just says r, see it goes from the center to the outside, that's r, that's our radius, and up here it tells us that r is 5, so it's 5 to the third. So I'm going to think of these all as fractions, I'll put this all over 1, and that's going to help me with that 4 thirds part, so I'm going to multiply all the stuff on the top together, and I'm just going to put these in the calculator one piece at a time. So I'm going to put in this 5 to the third first. So 5 to the third, remember, means 5 times itself three times. So that means 5 times 5 times 5. And that's going to give us 125. And then now that we have all these fractions, we multiply fractions by multiplying straight across the top and then straight across the bottom. Let's do the bottom first because that's easier. 3 times 1 times 1 is 3. And then I multiply across the top, I'm going to take 4 times 3.14. And then we're going to multiply that by the 125. And that's going to give us 1,570. And then... We're going to finish by doing this division. It's 1,570 over 3 means 1,570 divided by 3. And that is going to give us a volume of 523. We'll round to the tenth, point three, And then this one doesn't give us a unit. It just says 5. So we can just say units cubed. So... Area is squared to the second power. Volume is cubed to the third power because it's 3D, three-dimensional, so to the third for length, width, and height. Okay, our next shape is a... Actually, let's just go down to number six, and we'll do the two spheres together. So we're going to use that same formula. Volume equals four-thirds times pi times r to the third. And we're going to start plugging everything in. So volume equals 4 thirds times pi. We're going to use 3.14. And this time it tells us the r is 7. So 7 to the third. And then again, I'm going to think of this all as being over 1 over 1. And on the top, I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything top. I'm going to start by doing what is 7 to the third. So remember that means 7 times 7 times 7, three of them. That's going to be 343. And then we're going to multiply everything across the top. So 4 times 3.14. And then times that by the 343 we found. And we are going to get 4,308.08. And then I multiply all across the bottom. 3 times 1 times 1 is... I'm going to do that division now. So 4,308.08 divided by 3. And we're going to get a volume of 1,436.03 if we round properly to the hundredths place. And this one, again, doesn't give us our units. So we're just going to say units cubed or to the third power. One note that we might want to make is that if it were to give us the diameter of 
this sphere, we would need to take just half of it. For example, if they had given us all the way across here was um, 8, then we know that then if all the way across is 8, then what we need halfway across would be just 4. Or again, that's called the diameter. So if they said if diameter is 8, then we know the radius must be so just be careful with what information they give you. You may need to adjust it. If they give you the diameter, find half of that before you do your calculations.